Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to manage different iPhoto libraries. So what this essentially means is, first of all I'm going to show you how to move an iPhoto library. So if you want to save space on your Mac's hard drive because you're running out of storage and you have an external drive, maybe a backup drive which you can use to put the photos on, then I'll show you how to drag the photos from your Mac to that hard drive and then delete them off of your Mac so that you save a lot of hard drive space uh, because photos use up a lot of storage. And then secondly I'm going to be showing you how to within iPhoto uh, show it which library you want to open and create a new library as well if you wanted to. So let's get started. What I'm going to show you first as I said is how to move an iPhoto library. So I'm just going to come into Finder and uh, the way that you can find your iPhoto library is if you go into the pictures folder uh, then you should see your iPhoto library in here in there so it'll look like this the name will be iPhoto library the size will depend on how many photos you have in it and you can see here I've got my storage device I have a WD drive which is just a brand of hard drive so if we want to move these photos what we do is we just click and drag and then we just drop it on your drive and then just let go and then what it's going to do is, is it's going to copy it to that drive. It won't move it, but it'll copy it. So then you need to go back because it's still on your iMac as well as your hard drive. And then you can delete it from your iMac by clicking on its name, then right clicking and pressing move to trash. And then you'll see that it'll disappear. Then you can right click on trash and press empty trash. So that's how you can move photos from your Mac to your hard drive. A lot of the time it might take a long time to copy uh, depending on how many photos you have, it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few hours. And as I said, it depends largely on how many photos you have in your library. So now I'm going to show you within iPhoto how to figure out how to show it where the new location is. Because iPhoto won't be able to find your photos anymore. So what you need to do, I'll just close this up. Make sure that iPhoto isn't open yet. And then find it in your dock and hold down the option key on your keyboard. And then while you're holding that down, click iPhoto, keep holding option. So once you see this window, you can let go of the option key. So you can see I've got some iPhoto libraries here, are uh, ones which I've used. Most likely you'll probably just have one there, just iPhoto library. If we scroll through these, you can see the different locations of them uh, down here to help you figure out which one's which. So what you need to do is press other library. And then from here, you can navigate to the folder of your library. So within here, uh, you should see your iPhoto library pop up here, and you'll be able to click it and select open. So that's easy. And then once you've done that, you can just double click on it, and then it will open up in iPhoto just like you're used to. And all of your photos will be there set up exactly as they were, with all the albums and things as well. So another thing you may want to do is to create a new iPhoto library. Uh, say that you want to have your most recent photos on your iMac and you want to have old photos from a holiday on your hard drive that you don't need to access as much what you can do is press create new and then you'll be able to give your iPhoto library a name and specify a location for it and then you can just press save and you'll then be able to open up and work with that library so that's really all you need to know just remember that what an iPhoto library is is it's a collection of all the photos that iPhoto uses so if you create a new iPhoto library, all of your photos will be gone and you'll have a blank start. And yeah, that's all you really need to know. I hope that this tutorial helped you out. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any more questions or you want me to clarify something or if you're having any problems with this. And yeah, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.